The devastation of wildfires in the western U.S. extending well beyond these charred remains, with people now losing the ability to insure their homes. California residents are scrambling after 72,000 property insurance policies were dropped by the state's largest home insurer, State Farm. They pulled out of the state of California, and there's nothing we can do other than <laughs> beg Jill Osborne lives in Sonoma County. While her home was not destroyed in a fire, it's one of thousands deemed high risk. She feels blindsided after losing insurance. They say, like a good neighbor, State Farm is here. Well, they're certainly not here for us. State Farm saying, in part, this decision was not made lightly, citing inflation, catastrophe exposure, reinsurance costs, and the limitations of working within decades-old insurance regulations as reasons for dropping the policies. Look how close that is to the highway. But for homeowners, insurance is more vital now than ever as the threat of natural disaster grows. There were more than 7,000 wildfires in California in 2023 alone. We are all struggling now with these very, very severe weather events for which you really can't defend yourself. And this isn't just a problem for Californians. In Florida, insurance premiums have soared as a number of major companies have pulled out of the state. Did, you didn't write it out here, did you, or did you? No, In the aftermath of August's Hurricane Adalia, our Gabe Gutierrez spoke to one Florida resident who saw her home insurance rate double. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm still paying it because you get nervous not to. Rates remain high, but relief for Florida homeowners could be on the way, as state regulators announced last week that eight new insurance companies will enter the market. But back in California, the newly uninsured are reeling as wildfire season looms. We should not be living in fear during fire season every year. We need to have confidence in our infrastructure, and that is simply what we don't have right now. David Noriega joins us tonight from Los Angeles. So, David, what are the state governments doing, the governors of Florida or California, to help their residents with this insurance problem? Yeah, Tom, so both states have what's called an insurer of last resort, which is a, an insurance plan that to varying degrees is backed by the state. The problem is that in both California and Florida, those plans are pretty old and they're struggling to catch up with fast growing demand. Here in California, that's called the FAIR plan. It's actually a private plan, but it is created by law by the state. And agents are saying that it takes hours to even just get someone there on the phone. And if you do get to sign up, it's super expensive. It usually only covers one thing, which in California, often means fires and you know it doesn't actually get you that far this situation is backing a lot of homeowners into a corner to the point where they have no choice but to consider actually just selling their homes Tom? and then you know i have to ask you the issues with extreme weather and climate change have gotten so dire if you think about this some companies they don't want to even enter the insurance market which is very bizarre in a country that thrives on capitalism you know you have competition in every industry but it seems to be limited now when it comes to home insurance in some states. Yeah, that is a huge part of what's driving this. And remember too, Tom, that what's happening in California with the largest home insurer pretty much backing out of the state, saying it's not gonna sign any new policies, non-renewing tens of thousands of policies as you saw, that's just the most extreme version of this. In a lot of states, this just manifests as premiums going way, way up, for example, in Louisiana and other parts of the Southeast that are at risk of uh, you know increased hurricanes and of increased severity because of climate change. This is causing really structural changes changes to this market that we're just beginning to understand. Tom? David Noriega from our Los Angeles Bureau. We thank you for that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.